Again, triangulation is just using the rules you've already learned. So I'm not. I'm going to skip over question one, and we're going to start on question two, two A. All right, on page four fifty two. So it says two fire spotting towers are seventeen kilometers apart on an east west line. So they're seventeen kilometers apart. Okay. So a fire is spotted from tower A on a bearing of one thirty true. Okay, so 130 is going to put us down here. So if this is A, 130 is going to put us there. Okay, and it was spotted on 130 degrees true. The same fire is spotted from Tower B on an angle south 20 degrees west. So we're going to head 20 degrees west. Okay. Which tower is closer to the fire? Okay, which you can't see. So here's our fire. Which tower is closer to the fire and how far away is it? So how do we do this? We need to think about what rules we have and what, what um, angles we already have. So the easiest way I think to do this one is to go, well, that angle there, okay, that blue bit there, is 130 minus 90 because this is on an east-west line. So 130 minus 90 puts us at 40 degrees. Okay, 90 minus 20 will get us this one. So that's on 70 degrees. We have one length. Okay, so we can use the sine rule and this angle because we can calculate this angle here. So we can calculate all three angles. So 40 and 70 is 110 which makes this angle here 70 degrees, which means that we could cheat a little bit and say, well, this one is 17 kilometers because clearly this is an isosceles triangle. It might not look like it, but it is because these two angles are the same, which means these two sides are the same. And then I can use the sine rule, given I know this side length, say, and this angle and this angle, I can use the sine rule to calculate this missing length here and we can work out which one is closer. So if I label that triangle, so let's say this is little a, this is big A, and let's call this little b, and this big B. Okay, that probably should be C, but, so little a over sine 40 equals 17 over sine 70. And then if you recalculate that out to get a on its own, you'll find out this distance here. So it's all about drawing the triangle working out what angles you already know or what distances you already know and then which rule applies to the question.